If you're new around here, you might not know that I am a hoarder of deep freezes. Okay, maybe not a hoarder because I am meticulously organized. Right now they are unorganized because we had a few harvests of, not harvest, we butchered. Did we put other things in there? There's been a few different things and whenever you put something new in a large batch you have to layer it out so we end up layering out in like every freezer because we did like 140 pounds of bear and if we just put that all in a pile in one freezer it wouldn't freeze quick enough and would go bad and it could ruin things in the freezer too so we had pork we had bear or something else too anyway so now we're sorting out freezers again into where they belong oh we also took everything from the upstairs freezer which is like any frozen dairy or pre-made food things that i've made broth soup etc it all got moved down here and we defrosted that. I've pretty much talked enough here that I should just make this into a YouTube video and not post this to Instagram. So this is our beef freezer, although technically it's got some bare hot dogs in it. But I had the kids sort it in this side, which goes almost all the way to the bottom. It has our bare hot dogs, beef lime Jaeger, beef pepperoni. We have what there's, it's not. This is three different cows right now. There is a cull beef that we turned all into ground beef and slow cooking roast. There is a beef cow that was like a nice steer. This is just ground beef. Um, and then there was a beef cow. There's actually a YouTube video on it. The YouTube video is called, We Traded a Loaf of Bread for a Cow. And that was a really nice, older, but delicious cow. So this is our beef freezer. And there. This is our fruit and vegetable freezer. Um, these are just for ice packs. So there's things that we've grown like zucchini. This is actually a backup bag of milk for formula. There is also store-bought stuff. Oh, there's more potatoes in here. These are some of the potatoes that we... There's celery, lots of bags of celery from when we got like a whole case of it given to us that needs to be frozen. Did you throw those bags of potatoes? I did. I packed it down. Okay, they need to go upstairs, not in that freezer. There's lots of Saskatoons, rhubarb. Um, this is where like our frozen broccoli, cauliflower. Oh, there's some pork. Um, a Saskatoon. These are Saskatoons. They're kind of like blueberry sad because. Anyway, this is our fruit and vegetable freezer. You found some more potatoes. Okay. Um. This freezer, so these are a couple of things that we're just feeding to the pigs. This is whey that I froze for making formula, but I no longer make the formula and I don't think it's good for making cheese. So the pigs are gonna enjoy it. This is our fish and pork freezer. Um, the pig that we butchered, there's a couple packages from last year's pig. There's like two chickens left. Um, various fresh and smoked trout and salmon, like some fresh salmon. Um, this is why we have a vacuum sealer, guys. It's the only reliable way to preserve fish. Halibut, um, huge hams. And then I also, for, I thought we only had a bit of moose sausage left that um, we helped my sister make moose sausage and she gave a pile of it. But we found this whole sack of moose sausage. That's exciting because we haven't eaten moose sausage in a while. Yeah. But this is kind of an all over the place oh, freezer. Get Freya, what you get? Yep, tons. This small freezer, um, there's a huge bear hide in the bottom, which takes up like a very good portion of this. But other than that, it's bear from two bears that Marius got. That um, some of it we're gonna make into fresh sausage ourselves. Some of it's gonna take it to the sausage factory to get made into hot dogs. Um, what we get made is not technically hot dogs. It's Smokies that we ask them to make in smaller casings because a lot of places can't make hot dogs at a wild game, but you can just get them to make Smokies with smaller casings. Um, what are you doing back there? This is my chaos room, by the way. Here's the milk fridge slash beer fridge. This freezer, this is colostrum, uh, Del de Leche, pierogies. And then when I rendered lard last, I froze it all since I still have a lot left from the last time I rendered lard in our root cellar and I want this for long-term storage. Our kitchen fridge freezer functions as like there's always a bag of frozen vegetables and some bags of frozen fruit and maybe some ice cream and butter and 
Usually Marius, if he has some sort of frozen fishing bait, he keeps it in there. This is our mudroom freezer. I haven't organized this at all. This is just how the kids brought it up. Right now it's mostly frozen potatoes because as our potatoes started to go a little soft, we started freezing them like crazy. So that like now we only have maybe 20 pounds of fresh potatoes left. We have like every one of these bags is at least a meal. So plus there's like containers of them. We have lots of meals worth of potatoes. We've started to eat rice more. Kind of stretch those. This is where I keep like homemade butter, broth, um, ice cream drum. Anyways, I'm gonna organize this a bit better but that's what it looks like now. I'm a huge proponent of going through your freezer. Oh, hello there. Um, uh, multiple times a year. My most suggested times to go through the year are, um, like right now, we're at the, we kind of had some spring butcherings that we wouldn't normally have. Mostly we would be at like a really empty freezer time of year right now. But because we did pigs in spring and beef in spring and lots of bear, our freezers are not as empty as normal. Um, but I think before you start like your big push of like preserving things and butchering things, that's a good time to organize. We don't odds and ends. We have a five gallon bucket of like old bread and some random dried out something to go to the pigs. I discovered that bag of moose sausages. It's, you know, the kids are like, mom, there's like a lot of ground beef. Okay, we're gonna have more ground beef meals. We have two chickens. Um, this year's meat birds are still not going so great. Uh, we might have a really chicken slim year, but we'll have lots of pork and beef and bear. Yes, I would like more chicken, but maybe we'll have an epic grouse season, or maybe the Lord wants to teach me something about not having my favorite meat all next winter. Maybe it'll be a season of growth for me. That's what I'm trying to embrace. Then after your big garden and harvest and animals in the fall, I suggest that's a good time to go through your freezers again. Then kind of after Christmas is a really good time to go through again. Like, what do we have lots of? What do we need to eat more of? Hey, you know what? Actually, we need to go easy. If we want those blueberries to last, we need to, you know, stretch them out a bit more. That sort of thing. My mother will assure you that you did, um, I did not get this from her, but I've always kind of sorted my freezers by categories. Um, and I think it's helpful because the freezer has a name, you know where to find it. You don't have to dig through five freezers to find what you're looking for, especially like Mary's can be like, where would I find, you know, he's looking for a beef steak. Well, look in the beef freezer. I'm sassy to him sometimes. Okay, lots, not just sometimes. Anyhow, there you go. There's my freezer organizing. Um, I used to bag up within freezers, but now I don't really. Sometimes I'll put stuff in boxes or bags, but mostly. I just sort it by the freezer and that's as good as it gets. I also no longer do inventories because I never kept up with them. Usually kind of I hit a point in pregnancy where I inventory every freezer and create these like elaborate inventory lists that just go the way of the dinosaurs pretty quickly. But last three babies I have reliably done it in the three, third trimester so maybe one time it will stick. Probably not. Quick run through of what our root cellar looks like right now just so you see all our food storage. Um, cheese, cheese, canning, canning, some different dry goods like chips and crackers, coconut oil, the very last of our potatoes, canning, canning, lots of canned fish over on this side. Oh, and like boxes are wine. Um, oh, guess what? More cheese, more cheese, more cheese. Some spices and dry goods and flour. I need to give this flour to my sister since we're not doing that right now. And here's some tallow and pork fat. This one needs to go. Something wasn't right there. Um, different pantry goods. 
and such. Halloumi, wine, wine. But yeah, these will be stacked with potatoes before we know it.